airport without a stroller. I feel like I'm missing an arm. We're renting a stroller, so we're picking it up when we get to our Disney resort, but being in an airport with no stroller feels so weird. <laughs> Walt Disney World. We are in the hospitality house right now at Old Key West. We just got all checked in and I got my room text that our room was ready on our ride over here and I noticed that we were in the Turtle Pond Road section. So I wanted to see if I could get anything closer to the hospitality house since we don't have a car. I figured it would be really nice to be able to walk over to the hospitality house from our room. So they were able to switch us. We got into building 18 on Miller's Road, which is pretty close. Like I would say a seven minute walk from the hospitality house. So I'm very happy about that. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Becca. I have a four year old daughter, Ellie Rose, who is being very shy right now, sitting in our stroller. <laughs> and uh, we are so excited. We are here for the next five nights. We're spending our first two nights here at Old Key West in studio. And then we're gonna move over to the Wilderness Lodge for three nights. Two of my favorite Disney resorts. I'm so excited. This just feels like home. When I'm here at Old Key West, I'm like, Oh, it's just the best feeling. It's so homey and cozy here and I cannot wait to show you more of this resort. So let's go find our room. I'm gonna go see if we can hop on a shuttle and if someone will drive us over to Miller's Road since we have all of our luggage and everything here. And then we'll come back and kind of explore a little bit more, get a bite to eat and get settled in. While we wait for our shuttle, I did wanna mention that I have rented a stroller for the first time ever because Ellie has officially hit the max and weight on our compact travel stroller. So I've rented a Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 and we are using Orlando Stroller Rentals. So far this has been a fantastic experience and I'm really impressed. So the person dropping off our stroller was here waiting on us and gave me the full rundown on the stroller and they are gonna pick it up on our departure day. So super easy and yeah, so far this has been really great. Ellie did have a little bit of a hard time with the new stroller because she loves our compact Contours Bitsy Elite stroller so much. I think she has an emotional attachment to that stroller. I mean, when you spend so much time in a stroller, I can only imagine, but she saw this one and started crying because <laughs> she was like, I don't want this stroller. But I think I convinced her that the stroller is gonna be a better fit for her, quite literally. And it took her a few minutes to want to approach the stroller uh, yeah. but she's in, she's riding. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, Ellie Belly, hop on out. Okay, here's your bag. Or do you want me to put this in the back? I know, is this so fun? Yeah. Here we go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> all right we're all checked in i have my stuff not unpacked yet because i need to film a room tour but so perfect all right ellie's doing some play-doh I'll do a full room tour in another video. So check that out. I'll have that linked down below, but I had to show this incredible view. 
you kind of never know what you're gonna get if you're gonna just have the golf course or a pond or a lake or you know so this is really really awesome I mean there's no bad view at Old Key West but when you have a water view I just think there's something extra extra fun extra special and tranquil <laughs> about it I really love this and this is a decent sized little patio here with these studios. I mean, typically at deluxe resorts when you have the patio balcony, it's half this size. So this is nice. Like there's actually enough space out here for two people to come out and enjoy a cup of coffee or just take in the view. I love the size of these balconies for the studios. All right, we are settled in the room. We're all unpacked and we're gonna head over to the hospitality house now. It's almost 5.30 to oh, grab some dinner. And we'll see if Olivia's Cafe has walk-up availability because I did not make a reservation. I just, I didn't know what our plans were gonna be this evening on travel day. You really never know if there's gonna be a flight delay or how long getting your room is gonna take, like getting settled in your room, filming a room tour, you know, a couple of extra things that I've gotta do, but I think we're good now. So if they don't have walk-up availability at Olivia's, then we'll just grab some quick service dinner at Goods Food To Go. And I think we're gonna hang out here, maybe take the boat over to Disney Springs. I'm undecided. I don't know yet, but I'm also curious to see how long the walk is gonna be from our building in Miller's Road, building 18, back to the hospitality house. So I have my timer set on my phone. I will report back here in just a few minutes. Also, this feels so weird pushing around, not my small compact travel stroller. It feels like I'm pushing around this giant, I don't know, just something giant. Okay, four minutes and 50 seconds. Not bad, like under five minutes? I don't know why I'm surprised by that. I was expecting like a 10 minute walk. That is amazing. <laughs> We're headed back to the room, but dinner was so good, especially the bananas foster cake. So, so incredible. Even if you just go to Olivia's for that dessert alone, get it to go. I mean, it is so, so good. 
after dinner, we went over to the playground, which Ellie loved that playground. We were there for probably 30 or 45 minutes. And then we went and hung out in the community hall. Ellie did one of the little crafts that they have set out there. They have lots of different coloring activities and arts and crafts and uh, movies and games and you can rent DVDs. I mean, there's a lot going on there. So we hung out there for a while and it's starting to get pretty chilly. It's actually almost eight o'clock. I didn't realize it was so late because it still feels so light out. So I looked at the time, I was like, oh, that explains why it's starting to get a little chilly. So, and Ellie's in like a little tiny tank top and shorts. I'm like, okay, let's go back to the room. And I thought, man, it really wouldn't hurt to have an early night to be in bed, especially on travel day, to have Ellie in bed by 8.30 on arrival day would be incredible. So we're gonna head back to the room and get settled in for the night. They have an awesome playground here. Yeah. Did you like your dinner? We went to Olivia's cafe for dinner. Yeah. What did you order? Chicken fingers, ranch, and french fries. Chicken fingers, ranch, and french fries. And strawberries. <gasps> yes. And what did you like the dessert? Um, I like the dessert I have. But I just eat all of it. Just all ice cream. Yeah, just the ice cream. I eat the cake and banana. <laughs> yep. Are you excited to be here? Yeah! What are you most excited for? Well, it's, it's the horn. <gasps> we heard a boat. Well, we are going to sign off for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today on our travel day to Walt Disney World as we checked in at Old Key West. I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you're subscribed. Like Ellie said, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Say bye. Bye.